Hey guys, today it's the two of us. This is Stefan and me, I'm Catherine, and we've got a special HIIT workout for you. To get prepared for your workout, you need the following equipment. You need a black roll, and you need a super band, and a loop band. See you soon in the workout. You've got five sets coming in, strengthening versus HIIT, and I would say, let's get warm. Okay, we start with a two minute movement prep section. Place your super band in the middle of your foot and bring your extended leg diagonal towards the ground. Bring some extension in your knees and bring some activation in your core. Combination of a scorpion with a single arm row. Relax your shoulder on the ground and feel the activation all over your spine and in your hamstrings. Slightly get up and bend your knee and do the same on the other side. Extend your knee, grab your toes if you can with your fingertips and create some rows in the lying position. Knee stays extended and just a few more reps. And slowly get up for your next exercise. In the sumo squat, you bring your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. You place your wrists down on the ground and you bring some lengthening in your back line. Try to extend your knee. Just try to check your technique. If you're hypermobile in your knees, just focus on a slightly bended end position. Bring your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest. Yes, get up. Grab your super band. Fix it on the left leg. Extend your arms. Bring them in one line with your shoulder or chest and combinate some lunges with trunk rotations. Stay focused and bring some more pressure on your front leg. Press your heel and your toes in the ground. This helps you to warm up the structures all over your spine. Step in, step back, fix it again. Bring your knee above your ankle and go again. Bring your front thigh parallel to the ground and go into the torso rotation from the deep lunge position. The warmer you get, the deeper you can go in your range of motion. Your structures are ready for more. Five seconds to go. And perfect. In this kind of workout, we work on our cardiovascular fitness and on our functional strength. Get prepared for your first set. Wrap your band twice around your black roll. Fix the mid of your foot on the ground. Start from a kneeling position to bring some more tension on the front leg and go for lunges. Go all the way up, all the way down and stop one centimeter above the ground. Try to work on your upright back and lift your chests. Eight reps per side. Then you step in, don't rush. Fix the band on the opposite shoulder. Push your hips to the front and go again for eight reps. We use the black roll to create a negative range of motion. This helps you to activate more muscle fibers in the lunge technique. You will feel it tomorrow. <laughs> Three seconds to go. Two, one. Get ready for your first hit exercise. Give your best, your maximum. Grab your loop band and get ready for fast lunges with overhead presses and go. Go for speed and then go for range. Feel your heart rate activation. All in. 
just try to push from the deep of your range of motion in the fast lunge. Bring your elbows to the inside. Lift your chest and bring your arms in the full extension when you rise. Okay, great. Finish your first set. Get into the post load. Now you know how it goes. Fix it. Left leg on the black roll. Right shoulder in the bed. Pressure on the front leg and go. Eight reps. Try to focus one point on the ground to stay upright in your position. Full range of motion is key in every round for you. We want all your muscle fibers, okay? 14 seconds to go. The better you work in your range of motion, less reps you have to absorb in your workout. Great. First round done. For the next round, we work on our upper body and we will activate other muscle fibers so you can give everything in every round. Thread the super band into the hole of your black roll, fix it on the ground and bring your shoulder blades on the black roll. Get ready for some pectoralis flies. Extend your elbows as wide as you can and go. Squeeze your bicep when you rise. Bring your hands in one line with your lower arm. Bring some tension on your wrists. 35 seconds to go. Feel the activation in your pectoralis and your bicep when you go up. Now you can combine the breathing with the exercise. Inhale, you go down. Exhale, you rise up. Bring some lengthening in your arms. This helps you to activate more muscle fibers in your arm line. Five seconds. Come on, guys. Okay. Get up for your hit exercise. Fix your loop band above your ankle. And go for speed push-ups. Engage your core and go for speed. Your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Grab an option if you need to. Bring your knees down on the ground, but work with a full engaged core. Chest maybe goes to elbow height. Five seconds. Don't lose your range of motion. And step up if it's possible. Okay. Post load coming in. Step out of the loop band. Go down, fix your shoulder blades on your black roll. In your second round, you can round your spine a little bit more when you rise up. Engage your core and relax your shoulder. Exhale when you rise, inhale when you go down. Don't lose the tension on your wrists. They are so important for your arm stability. Try to open your arms a little bit wider for your last seconds. Great. Round two, check. We're gonna start round three. Halfway done. Grab your black roll. Wrap your band around the black roll again. Press your soles together when you're in a lying position and bring your upper body down. Extend your arms and bring some activation in your glutes. Butterfly glute bridges, your next exercise. Exhale when you rise. Bring some lengthening in your arms. Extend your elbows. Press your fingertips together. When you're at the top of your position, just squeeze your butt when you rise, okay? This helps you to activate more muscle fibers in your back line. And of course, in your hamstrings, all over your leg axis and in your hips. 25 seconds. 
Hold on to your full range of motion, full hip extension at the top of your movement. Squeeze your butt to engage your hamstrings and the inside of your thighs. Don't lose your range of motion. Five seconds. Almost done. Three, two, one. And whew, get ready for your next hit round. You also need your black roll. Single leg knee lifts coming in. Start now. The knee is the top of your position in the movement. You have 90 degree in your knees. And you work as fast as you can. Push, push. Push your hips up high, push your knee up high. Maybe you can work a little bit faster. There's more energy left. Three, two, one. Post load, glute bridges, press your feet together and go. Extend your elbows again. The band helps you to generate more core strength in the movement. It's also important to activate your front line. This is what you do with the band. Three seconds, two, one. Great. Round number four. You just need your black roll. You're going to bring your elbows under your shoulders. You bring your shoulder blades towards your spine and you start the shoulder saw from the shoulder height. When you exhale, you bring your elbows four counts to the front. And when you inhale, you bring them under your shoulder again and go. Engage your core, activate your thighs and squeeze your butt. If you need an option, you can drop down on your knees. But we want you to get high again if it's possible for you. This helps you to activate your functional front line. Drop down if it's possible or if you need to. Five seconds and get up again if it's possible. Great. Next round of hits. I highly recommend you to work as fast as you can because this will be an easy exercise. It's a shoulder tap. Engage your core and work as fast as you can with a diagonal tap to your shoulder and go. As fast as you can to activate more fast twitch muscle fibers. They help you to burn more calories up to 24 hours after your workout. Go, go, go. 10 seconds left. Bring your hips a little bit deeper to the ground. Engage your core a little bit more. Four seconds. Don't think about it. Just do it. Three, two, one. And go into the post loads. No time for breaks. Get into your setup again for the shoulder saw. Only 30 seconds left. I want you to feel the fatigue in your full range of motion. Bring your elbows as wide as you can to the front and bring them back under your shoulder line. Engage your core. Bring your hips a little bit more towards the ground. Two, one. Okay, final round. No excuses right now. We can handle it. You just need your super band. Fix it on your left leg and step in the band on the opposite side. Yes, you go for single leg deadlifts and you bring your shoulder square to your hips. And you will start with a slightly bended leg for eight reps on each side. Full range of motion is here key for the movements. This is your unilateral set. Everything is under tension and one side works a little bit harder on your structures. Bring some activation in your arm line. Activate your bicep, your lower arm. 
And after eight reps on each side, you're gonna switch sides. If eight reps are too easy for you, you can do eight to 15 reps on each side. It's also totally fine. And go. You should be tired. You should feel a little fatigue after each strengthening set. This is what the workout is for. You should work on your functional strength a little bit more. And step into the band with both legs and fix it on your shoulder girdle and roll your shoulder blades to the rear and then you slightly bend your knees you bring some lengthening in your back you cross your band to create more tension if you're smaller and then you go for good mornings no matter which time is it on your day today you go for good mornings and you push your hips towards the front Eight seconds, five seconds, guys. Three, two, and one. Post load, you know what to do. Diagonal cross, step in. Bring all your weight over your standing leg. And then you go. If it's possible, come a little bit deeper in the movements. 8 to 15 reps on each side. In the post load, 8 reps are totally fine. Stay focused. Don't lose your concentration. You have only 5 seconds from now on. <laughs> 4, 3, 2, 1. Woohoo! Step out and feel a little high five from us to you. Okay, this was an intense one. Thank you very much for joining this workout session. Hopefully we see you soon in one of our next workout and don't forget to recover. You need after such an intense workout about 24 to 48 hours of recovery. Your body tells you how much time for regeneration you need and yes, see you soon. Bye bye.